Hello everyone, welcome back. We've got Shadowline gameplay and some tips and tricks for things that you probably didn't know about. Let's get into it. Did you know that in team deathmatch mode, when you revive your teammate, it removes a point from the other team's score? So if your teammate dies and you revive them, it's like the kill never happened. So this makes for some interesting gameplay because sometimes in team deathmatch if you die you don't want to instantly respawn. If you've got a teammate just around the corner maybe it's good just to stay on the death screen for about 10 seconds or so and hopefully they'll be able to win the fight and then come and res you. This respawn and revive system is going to make it very interesting in high level play. You know if you've got your ultimate maybe it's best just to stay dead right by the point so that when you're revived you can unleash your ultimate on the enemy but i am very excited to see how the pros will play this staying on the topic of revives i want to emphasize that reviving your teammates is so important especially in objective gameplay if you see a teammate go down and they're in a safe spot go ahead and res them because that's going to save so much time compared to if they respawned and they go all the way back to the starting point and they have to run to get back into the action. And another tip to help keep you alive is you want to be playing in cover. You will die so easily in this game if you are constantly running out into the open. So what you need to be doing is you need to be moving cover around. You can kick those boxes, you can kick those vans and you can also be using people's makeshift cover as well. When they spawn the crystals out of the ground that is a great way to kill your opponent's line of sight so that you only need to focus on one area. And if you are one of the characters that can spawn crystals from the ground, then you should be doing this before you revive every time to ensure that you get off that revive safely. And remember to use the crystals to block off common flank routes that people will take. Move the cover around. You can kick the boxes, you can kick the vans, you can see in this clip here I create a choke point in the middle. It makes this final point so much harder to get because they've got to climb over that van to get into the middle of the zone. And of course once the cargo load gets through the choke point it's going to push the van out of the way but by all means just move it back there. You should be looking to do this every game. And of course remember you don't have to do this on escort. You can do it on king of the hill like one of my teammates did here. And this means that I know that no one's going to be coming from me from my right hand side. So I've just got my sniper locked down in that area and taking people out as they come through. My teammate decides to make a choke point. Unfortunately he dies but I managed to pick up the kill and go for the res. Just keep in mind though that you can be killed by these moving objects. You can also be moving the vans while you're moving the escort van as well. This makes for great makeshift cover and it means that you're going to be covered from multiple angles. Just makes it a lot safer for you to push up. So look to do this the next time you're playing escort. Speaking of escort, a really cool feature that they've got is when you shoot these bulbous points, there's three in total, you can release the bomber dogs. Just be very mindful of when you decide to release the dogs because they don't just attack your enemies, they'll attack everyone around you. Sorry about that. And lastly, you can kick some objects around and clamber up on them to get to places that only other certain characters can get up. This is very handy for when you're wanting to surprise people and get the high ground. Anyway, that's a few tips and tricks that I have discovered while playing this game. I hope that you have learned something. Please give me a like and a follow and a subscribe and an everything. And I'll be seeing you in the Shatterline Arena. See ya.